We all know that Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber have something in common, and that is Justin. And he is exactly what has defined the relationship between these two women for years. But apart from being involved with Justin, Selena and Haley share something else. The way they have been scrutinized, harassed, and compared to each other by the media and the fans. Today, I'll take you guys on a little trip through the tragic relationship between Haley and Selena. So let's get it going. Let's go back in time in 2009. That's the year Selena and Justin met for the first time after their manager set them up. They liked each other from the beginning and they became good friends and started thinking about collaborating. That same year, Justin also met Haley for the first time when her father, Stefan Baldwin, introduced her to him. This is just as cute as it's awkward, isn't it? But after all, they were only kids. Moving on, by 2011, Justin and Selena were linked romantically for the first time when they attended the Oscars party together. The world couldn't have been happier with that relationship. They were gorgeous, talented, and appeared to have a lot of chemistry. They were a match made in heaven. Just consider that people who loved Selena's music also loved Justin's and vice versa, so the fact that they were together were really important to their fans. That's precisely the birth of Jelena stands, and they were really passionate about their relationship. Maybe a bit too much, but let's keep going. Even though Jelena was a great couple, they had a bumpy relationship. From 2011, they broke up and got back together quite a few times, and meanwhile, the media reported all the ups and downs in their relationship. For the fans, these breakups and reconciliations were a roller coaster of emotions. In November 2014, Justin and Selena broke up again, and now, it looked like it might be the end of it for real. Also in November 2014, Haley Baldwin and Justin were spotted together in church. Rumors started going around that they were dating, but for a while, both of them denied that they were involved romantically. Things became really confusing in 2015. That year, Selena and Justin were spotted several times hanging out, but no one was sure if they had gotten back together or not. Until November 2015. That's when Justin went on Ellen and confirmed he was not with Selena. I think we're both just on our own journeys of just figuring ourselves out. Yep. And I think maybe once we figure ourselves out, we can come together and make an awesome duo. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, she'll find someone awesome, I'll find someone awesome. And I just want her to be happy, honestly. Yeah. But as you guys probably noticed, Justin clearly stated the possibility of them getting back together at some point. It looked like he still had a big crush on her. This only became more evident when in December 2015, Justin shared a throwback picture of Selena with the caption, crazy throwback. But then something happened. Shortly after that throwback picture in January 2016, Justin posted a picture kissing Haley. That year, they revealed that they were in a non-exclusive relationship, which I guess makes sense because in March 2016, Justin and Selena were seen together again. At some point between March and August 2016, Haley and Justin broke up. In an interview with GQ, Justin said he didn't want to hurt her. What if Haley ends up being the girl I'm going to marry, right? If I rush into anything, if if I damage her, then it's always gonna be damaged. It's really hard to fix wounds like that. It's so hard. So now that Haley and Justin weren't together, everyone thought he would start dating Selena again. Instead of that, by the middle of 2016, Justin started dating Sophia Ritchie, and fans didn't like this at all. So they quickly started sending hate to Sophia, and it became so bad that in August 2016, Justin had to ask his followers to stop being mean to his new girlfriend. Ooh, but things got heated after this. Who do you guys think had something to say about all of this? Well, it was Selena who went ahead and wrote a comment on Justin's Instagram. It said, if you can't handle the hate, then stop posting pictures of your girlfriend, LOL. It should be special between you two only. Don't be mad at your fans, they love you. So as you guys can clearly tell by the tone of that message, Selena appeared kind of bitter about the situation. Justin didn't stay quiet and he responded, it's funny to see people that used me for attention are still trying to point the finger this way. Sad. Obviously, Selena had to answer back, and she had the last word when she wrote, Funny how the ones that cheated multiple times are pointing the finger at the ones that were forgiving and supportive. Ooh, 
that is some hot tea. Then everyone started wondering who Justin had cheated on Selena with. Was it Haley? Was it Sophia? There was no clear answer about this either. Anyway, in October 2017, Selena and Justin were seen together having breakfast, so they had clearly reconciled. Rumors about them dating again started, and they were confirmed through the next months when Justin and Selena were seen together several times riding bikes, going to hockey games, and kissing. They even spent Valentine's together in 2018. In March 2018, though, they were seen leaving church separately, which made people believe that they had broken up once more. I know, I know, the Jelena timeline is hard to follow. So guys, also in May 2018, Haley confirmed that Justin and she were friends again. They had barely spoken since their breakup two years prior, but they seemed to be enjoying each other's company once again. The next month, Haley and Justin went to church together. And guys, in July, Justin proposed to Haley and they got officially married in September 2018. It's crazy that only a few months prior, Justin had been together with Selena. People were suspicious about how quickly he had moved on, and needless to say, Jelena stands were really unhappy about the idea of Justin getting married to someone else. Now, let's take a second here to reflect on the situation, okay? Justin and Selena had an on-again, off-again relationship for almost 10 years, and only months after their last breakup, Justin literally married another person? a person he had already had something going on with during a break with Selena. This couldn't have been easy for her, but luckily she moved on. But some people couldn't do the same. Jelena fans were really angry and that honestly made them kind of mean. And that's when they started sending hate to the newlyweds. Ever since Justin and Haley got married, they have been facing a horrible amount of hate from that part of Selena's fandom that still hadn't moved on from her relationship with Justin. And look, I get it, okay? Selena's fans are defensive of her, but that does not justify the harassment that the Biebers received, especially Haley. First of all, the rumors. Both Jelena's fans and the media often try to spark rumors that Justin is not happy in his marriage. Some people have even gone as far to say that Justin had moved on from Selena and that Haley is only a rebound partner. And guys, it looks like Jelena fans are focusing on bringing Haley down as if it was their job. There are many Instagram pages dedicated only to Jelena, and people sometimes tag Haley on those pictures to make her feel bad, which is really cruel to be honest. Apart from that, there are other pages whose only purpose is sending hate to Haley. In those pages, Haley is constantly compared to Selena in every single way. How they look with certain clothes, how Justin treats Haley, how she gets along with Justin's family. All of this because some people want to make the point that Selena is, quote, better. As you may imagine, this has been super hard for Haley to deal with, and it has definitely taken a toll on her mental health. She talked about this during an interview with Dr. Jessica Clemens. I, I think one of the biggest things I struggled with for sure was the comparison aspect of body comparison and looks comparison and behavior comparison. As if the constant comparisons weren't enough, Jelena stands also have a history of overanalyzing every single thing that Haley does that has anything to do with Selena. In November 2018, Haley accidentally followed and then unfollowed a fan account dedicated to Selena. Then she wrote to the owner to explain that it had been a mistake, and the owner of the account obviously shared what had happened, and Jelena Stans interpreted it as a sign that Haley had been stalking Selena. In March 2019, an account dedicated only to sending hate to Haley wrote that Justin had only married her to get back at Selena. Justin defended his wife in a really long comment, and honestly, it looks like he's fed up with the harassment. Then, by the end of 2019, Haley casually liked a couple of pictures featuring her husband's ex, and and the Jelena fans quickly jumped again to say that she was, quote, obsessed. Things got worse in October 2019 when Selena released her song, Lose You to Love Me. According to many people, this song talks about her breakup with Justin. Shortly after it was released, Haley shared an Instagram story showing that she was listening to a song called I'll Kill You. And her haters took this as a sign that Haley was sending hate Selena's way, so they started being mean to her once again. Selena addressed the situation on Instagram Live and she asked people to be kind to each other. So please be kind to everyone. It doesn't matter what the situation is. If you're my fans, don't be rude to anybody, please. Don't go off and say things that that you just feel in the moment. And just please, for me. As you can see, Selena doesn't look like she wishes any ill will to Haley. But can you guys imagine how frustrating it must be for Selena to have her musical successes overshadowed by drama about an old relationship? Moving on. Haley is also sick and tired that the media and the fans don't let go of her supposed beef with Selena. She addressed the situation during an interview with British Vogue where she said, I think social media is a breeding ground for toxicity and people creating false drama between women and trying to put women up against 
against each other and create these narratives that are just toxic. So guys, it really looks like they don't have any problems with each other. It's literally just the media and the fans that can be really mean. This hate reached a new level in December 2020 when a fan of Selena uploaded a video literally asking people to harass Haley. This is the time where they will not be turning off comments. So we need to fucking bombard that shit with Jelena and how Selena is better. Go after her. I don't know about you guys, but the fact that this grown woman is asking people to harass another person online is just low and terrible. Justin obviously didn't stay quiet. This sad excuse of a human just encouraged people on video to literally go after my wife, telling people to say that my previous relationship was better, so on and so forth. I just want to share this so that people get an idea of what we face day to day. Haley also posted an Instagram story where she said, it has truly gotten to a level of anger and hate that is shockingly unhealthy and sad. And guys, it has been three years since Haley and Justin got married. So how long will this hate go on? It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. Even more so because Haley and Selena are literally not doing anything to harm or disrespect each other. Luckily, the voices of those supporting a non-toxic relationship between Haley and Selena appear to be getting louder. <laughs> In August 2021, Haley liked Selena's cover for Elle. Some people out there thought that Haley was making herself present, trying to be talked about or mark her territory or something. But the majority appears to believe that she was only expressing her support for Selena's achievements. And to be honest, I do believe that the media and Jelena stands have built an image of Haley as if she really hated Selena or as if she was resentful to her and wanted to be like her. But in reality, Haley has never openly expressed having anything against Justin's ex. If you ask me, I think that the likes that Haley scatters here and there on Selena's pictures are just subtle hints to let her know that she does not hold any sort of grudge against her. I also believe that it's kind of twisted that Selena and Haley's relationship is only built around their relationship with Justin. Like they have never even hung out or interacted with each other publicly. So who knows? Maybe they would even be good friends if the media hasn't fabricated an animosity between them just because of Justin. This would be a dream come true for some people apparently. Anyway guys, do you think there's some truth in the supposed hate between Haley and Selena? Let me know in the comments below. Hello.